well, you guys do House Party. And the cast on this is very interesting. Robin Harris played your dad. The late great. Ah, man. One of the greats. One of the absolute greats that would have been a monster if he had had lived longer. Stop it. Martin Lawrence and Tisha Campbell Mm -hmm. were both in this film. Absolutely. Later on, they would do Martin together. Yeah, he stole my girl. You stole my girl, Martin. <laughs> and you end up doing the Martin theme song, right? I did. Yeah. I did, along with a, a gentleman by the name of uh, Stephen Kitt. Um, yeah, because, you know, at the time, you know, this is when Martin and I were like super, super tight. Mm-hmm. And um, I can remember him, They did. he did the uh, pilot, excuse me, did the pilot for Fox. And I remember I was, I was, I wasn't living out here in L.A. yet. Um, but I was out here at the, um, you know, it's the London now. It used to be called the Bellage. Mm-hmm. So I'm staying at the Bellage. So he comes by with a, a, another friend, uh, Benley Evans, to show me the pilot of Martin. And he puts it in, you know, throws it in. I mean, he's, in he's in my suite. We watch it. I'm like, yo, this shit, this shit is dope. You know what I'm saying? It's funny. It's this and that. And Martin's like, yo, man, you need to be on, be on the show. Be on the show with me, man. Come on, be a guest star on the show. I'm like, all right, fuck it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Then we're in the room, and it's me, Martin, and uh, Benley Evans, and we just start thinking about like what, like what could it be? And I'm, you know, we're thinking out loud, and I'm like, well, if I'm on and I'm being myself, why don't we have some way we gotta have Kid and the, that Shanae character, that girl character, have them like hook up? Maybe they maybe they go on a date or something like. That. So mm-hmm. we start putting together. He's like, all right, well, what if she goes on a radio station and she wins a date and da 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 da. So, you know, we just started putting it together. So then we, you know, he and I were up, we're, we're actually in my room. We're like, you know, kind of holding each other like we're dancing. And and, and I remember going through my mind uh, at, at that time, Forever My Lady was super, super hot record. So, you know, my mind is a rapid. Always, you always think of like, Forever My Lady, Forever Shanene. You know what I mean? My mind works like that to, you know, how can I make, make it rhyme and make it, you know, it's the same mind that gives you Ola, Ola, A, rolling, rolling, rolling with Kid and Play. So I'm like, like Forever. Forever, my lady. For, no, no, call it forever, Shanene. And then it was this and that. And then my man Benley Evans, he had never written nothing before in his life. Not like, not like that, like a, like a, you know, a sitcom script. And he's in the corner scribbling it down, getting notes and this and that. Two weeks later, I get a script at, at, at my crib in in, uh, in Jersey. It says forever, Shanene. And came out a few weeks later to do it, and it, you know, it became one of the most classic uh, episodes in the history of Martin. And and it was, I think it was crucial because this was his first season, you know? And and that's, you know, it was really important for him to get through that first season and, and be a success. So, you know, when it came down, I was, you know, that's how we all were. Like, like if if a, a friend, you know, if he asked me to do it, I'm like, fuck yeah, I'm gonna do it. You know, do I, do I know how much I'm getting? Nah, it doesn't matter. Like, you my boy. We're gonna do this. This is your first season. Let's knock it out the park. Blah blah blah. Um, and you know, when when it came time for him and, and Tommy Davidson to come in some of our music video, you know, everybody helped each other back then. It was very mm-hmm. kind of community kind of kind of vibe. Um, but yeah, we did that. Um, we did that, and it became you know, you know, it was funny. Years later, years later, um, me and Martin hooked back up, and um, I went to dinner at his house, and. Um, me and him was just kicking it, catching up and whatnot. And he had um, a couple of his daughters that were there. And, you know, they were so cute. I mean, I was probably, probably like nine or 10 at the time. And they going to throw in the tape of, of that Martin episode. <laughs> you know what I mean? With me and him in it and, you know, all hugged up and whatnot. And they're just sitting there cackling in it. And then me and Martin look at each other like, can you believe this shit? Like, can you believe it? Like, you know what I mean? Once again, it's just like, you never think at the time that these things will still be, you know, beloved and and uh, and sought out after all these years yeah. and stuff. But, you know, people still do. So that's 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 the beauty of it. it and it and it and it doesn't make, I, you know, I can speak for myself and, and and play as well. It doesn't make it doesn't make us arrogant or or big headed. It actually is more humbling than anything else. It's just like, wow. Like, y'all, you really do like us. <laughs> well, John Witherspoon was in that film as well. John he played the uh, the angry neighbor, the angry. public enema. Oh my God. <laughs> Let me tell you something. One of the greats, and you know, and I learned we learned so much from from you know some of the vets like like Spoon, um, you know, John Witherspoon. 
you know, Robin Harris's, um, you know, the Ronaldo Rays, you know, the Bernie Macs, you know, when we had some, some of the OGs that came and, and performed with us, we were always very appreciative and we learned a lot and we asked a lot of questions. And then, you know, when I got into doing stand up, you know, I would run into uh, to John Witherspoon. He would always have something positive or something, you know, some advice that I could use. You know what I mean? So those those days were great. Like we weren't, you know, and we weren't even making a lot of money back then. You know what I'm saying? 